Hey, and welcome to Internet Roundup. Uh, I'm Chuck. This is Josh. We do the Stuff You Should Know podcast. That's right. Every week. Twice a week, actually. Yeah, Tuesdays and Thursdays. And then once a week, we do this. Yeah. We round up the internet, and I'm doing my Anchorman routine. All <laughs> right. Looking through our papers for the day. Yes. And uh, we have two things. Uh, do you want to start with uh, Boy Scouts using silencers on <laughs> weapons first? Yeah. <laughs> I think we should start with that. I think the world should know. So there's a troop in New England. In Maine. Yeah. That's in New England. Sure. <laughs> I was just being slightly more specific. Uh, you want to get even more specific? Yes. The, the Pine Tree Council buddy in yep. central Maine. Uh, uh, wait. Let's get even more specific than that. Yeah. A 280-acre <laughs> facility in central Maine that is the uh, Pine Tree Council's little compound. Yes. I, it wasn't a compound before. Right. Now that they have silencers, <laughs> you can technically consider it a compound. Yeah, so what has happened here is they have um, – someone has kindly donated, not just someone, but uh, the NRA basically helped make this happen. Yeah. Some uh, some silencers. They call them suppressors. They don't call them silencers anymore because that sounds – to uh, hit Manny. It does, for <laughs> sure. Suppressors for shotguns and other weapons. Right. So boys can learn to shoot. Um, they are. I didn't know, even know they had shooting programs. So this is well, news to me. it makes sense. Sure. I can see, you know, like a, a little rifleman patch. Yeah. For like, you know, an older scout. But apparently these are younger scouts as well. But yeah, they were, they're <clears> earning <throat> their badges. Earning their badges. Shooting badges. But they're doing it without causing any hearing damage, apparently, thanks to a bunch of silencers that were donated by silencer manufacturer companies. Yes. And uh, I think what the deal is, is they say that with these suppressors or silencers, um, it doesn't disrupt the neighbors, which is good Mm. if you live next to the Boy Scout compound. Right. And like you said, it doesn't scare the boys or cause hearing damage for the boys. So they're able to learn to shoot in a more um, uh, confident environment. Right. Is that fair they to don't say? just like drop the gun right after it goes off. Yeah. They're like, this makes no noise. <laughs> well, I think probably one of the, it says here that at least three different scouts who had never shot a gun before stepped up and shot because of the silencers. Yeah. And it said that a couple of them were scared of gunfire before. Which is fairly sensible. Sure. Um, Maybe that's why guns are loud. I also suspect that when you add a suppressor to a gun, it makes it look 12 to 15 times cooler. Sure. And it makes it sound 100 to 300 times cooler. Right? Yeah, but So these <laughs> scouts are like, yeah, I want to start shooting anything I can yeah. with these suppressors. However, if you listen to the people who gave them to them, they say silencers really have a bad name because of the movies. That's not really what it's like. They're saying, though, that it's, a, it's safety equipment. Which I don't get because the things that they listed here was it doesn't bother the neighbors yeah. and it doesn't bother the wildlife, which you are ostensibly shooting with your suppressed gun. So I would guess in the end the wildlife is probably bothered by the gun. Yeah. They just don't hear it coming. But I don't understand the safety aspect. Do you? Uh, maybe just the the hearing for the boys. Gotcha. That's the only thing I can think of. Yeah, I, I guess, guess they couldn't afford the earplugs. That's a safety thing, right. <laughs> well, it also said, and I guess this is probably what, what they would answer, it said that they could hear the the range instructor more clearly um, while they were shooting. Safety. Safety right there. Uh, but I think we should at least mention what's really going on here. <laughs> what What do you mean? Uh, Jim Tech, uh, project manager, who is one of the donators of the suppressors, um, they also ponied up 25,000 rounds, by the way. Yeah. They said, uh, this is a quote, um, this is the least we can do considering that the children participating in this program are not only future firearm and suppressor owners, but future leaders of our country. Leaders that will hopefully be passing pro-Second Amendment laws for years to come. Right. <laughs> like he flat out said it. Yeah. So I, I didn't think they would be that black and white about it. So, yeah, no, I mean, they're, they're, I mean, they're being up front. They're basically, this is what they're doing is saying, look. Even Boy Scouts can mess around with these things yeah. and uh, be safe with them and have a great time. So um, here, go ahead, everybody, and buy suppressors. <clears throat> One of the things, if, if these Boy Scouts do become um, constitutional lawyers or whatever, yeah, um, they what I think the, the suppressor industry hopes is that they will reduce the barriers to owning a suppressor because right now it's legal to buy a suppressor for a gun, yeah, but it's very difficult. The waiting period is something like nine months, nine to ten months. A lot of suppressor manufacturers um, 
include a rebate for the costly paperwork you're going to have to file with your state to get a license to own the suppressor. Yeah. And I think what they're they're trying to do here is say, here, Boy Scouts, check out these suppressors. Go tell mom and dad and everybody, look at how much fun the Boy Scouts are having with the yeah. suppressors. Shouldn't we all own suppressors for our guns? Christmas is coming up. And Josh, I think to be fair, you should point out it takes at least nine or ten months to properly plan out a, uh, a hit. <laughs> anyway, so think, that's about right. We're going to get some mail for that <laughs> one, I think. No, nobody well, watches. Let's switch to, uh, and by the way, that um, article was from guns.com. Yeah. Uh, let's switch to a different subject on the internet. There's some, this site. Something that's not suppressed. There's this site. Uh, yes, this, this does the opposite of suppressing your happiness. It makes a bloom. That's right. There's a site <laughs> called Pleated Jeans, which is a great site. Um, and there's a post on it called Whimsical Banana Art by Stephen. I'm going to go with Brewski. Oh. Let's go with that. All right. Because it's reminiscent of beer. And Stephen <laughs> Brewski <laughs> takes bananas and he makes whimsical art out of them. Yes. And uh, hopefully uh, our whiz bang director, Casey, will be. Oh, Casey's on it. We'll be showing these up here over our faces. Did you just hear something happen to my voice? Yeah, it sounded weird. <laughs> it was very weird. I thought you went underwater for uh, a moment. <laughs> I'm a little uh, a little under the weather right now. Yeah. So I think my vocal cords were just attacked by phlegm. Well, I say we leave it in. Um, my favorite <laughs> one is this, uh, I don't know about favorite, but I like the dachshund. Uh, okay. Because he's using the banana. And, you know, I like it. It's a restrictive medium. Oh, yes, it is. I have this long yellow thing. What's it look like? Right. Looks sort of like a dachshund. The, the guy's letting his imagination run with it. That's right. I like Superman with a cape. My favorite is um, the banana slap fight. And I realize they're making heart. They're Like it's a banana couple making a heart, which is cute. But they also look like they're having a, a cutie little slap fight. So you're calling other. the heart one banana slap fight. Yeah. Okay. But, I mean, it's like a, a happy slap fight. They're not like mad at one another, obviously. Uh... Which other ones? I like. There's Spock. Yeah, Spock's okay. Oh, I'll tell you which one <laughs> I like is uh, Teddy Roosevelt. Yeah. Because what he's done here, if you can see, he has uh, very creatively used the interior of the banana or the banana. Uh huh. The banana. My for, friend. For the teeth. I think that might be uh, David Letterman. Really? I think so. The gap in the tooth. Hmm. That's Letterman. I'm going with Teddy Roosevelt. Well, we'll call it uh, Teddy Letterman. Okay. <laughs> That's going to be my hotel name from now on. <laughs> That's a good one. Teddy Letterman. Uh, so I got nothing else. I mean, we could talk about these all day. I do like the one where he incorporated the dog eating the uh, fearful banana. Sure. Cute. Very cute. Good stuff. You got anything else right now? I got nothing else, sir, uh, except, well, the candle opens kind of nice, too. <laughs> Again, I could do this all day. All day. Uh, that is it for now, though, for Internet Roundup. Why don't you go get a banana and do something creative with it? And we'll see you next week.